Rylan has been working for probably a week now on organizing, decluttering, taking down her room. You can see she's starting to bin things up. This is her bin that will stay in the attic. Um, every When my kids move out, I always let them do like a bin in the attic that they get to keep their things in. And then typically, I don't know how it started. Like with the twins, we needed the bedroom because there's six kids and there's not six bedrooms. So they when they moved out, somebody took over their old room. And so they had to kind of clear out. And ever since then, we've just, it's not like you have to clear out. It's just like, I like them to like declutter and get rid of most of their stuff that they aren't gonna want to keep long-term. So she's been working on that. She's got a pile of stuff she's taking, piles of stuff she's sort of clearing out, bins ready to pack. She started taking down picture board and her lights, which is really sad. Kind of, it's always weird when I see it start happening. Her bathroom, you can see she's just starting to organize all the heritage products she wants to take with her. But it's always kind of sad when it starts happening. It's crazy. Wake up. No. Wake up. Hi, V. Finn came to visit. Oh, my cute boy. Hi, Vini Doodle. Ryland's going in to get her hair done one last time before she leaves for school. All the priorities, right, before you move. This is the current state of the room. Yep. What do you still have left to do? Bin up, last minute things, closet, bathroom. Bin everything up. And do deep clean on everything. The weather is questionable, so we're debating about them leaving tomorrow or Thursday. We will determine, I think, tonight. But if they leave tomorrow, she's got a lot to do today. Okay, so today is swim, right, Dad? Yeah, you're on your way to swim, right? I don't want to go because Rylan's leaving tomorrow. It's her last day at home, huh? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Sad. You feel sad? I feel sad, too. We're going to miss her, huh? Yeah. But guess what? Huh? You get... Her room. <laughs> yeah. You get to move into her room. How's Which that is feel? even bigger than mine. Yeah, but that's probably gonna make you miss her more. At least I can call her some points when she's not at school. Rylan is finishing up her room. They started loading in the car and now she has some friends over. So then they getting even <laughs> emptier. <laughs> She went to a church activity for the first time. Yeah. And Paisley's excited. age group got to go for the first time. So we had one last goodbye activity last and, and hello. First. Yep. That's right. It's confusing. Last and first. I've got feathers in my face because I'm washing her duvets and her pillows. <laughs> Paisley, how long are you going to wait till you move in? I think I'll like slowly move my stuff in when Rylan leaves tomorrow. Yeah. Last morning. Wake up, sunshine. No sunshine. I don't know, no sunshine. It's too early. Brooklyn and Dakota came to say goodbye. Yep. Yes, we did. It's early. Rylan's gonna cry. Early. I brought a box of tissue for her. I literally come back in a week. She's been oh, about a week. Bye, bye. I'll see you in two days. Next, <laughs> next week, because you fly back. Bye. 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 Have fun. Bye. She'll be calling you guys. Every bye. night. Bye. 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 Oh, you're gonna cry when I leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Four hours. <laughs> Mom flies in tomorrow. <laughs> All right, say goodbye to your puppies. Oh, oh. bye. You're gonna miss those guys. Oh my baby. Jackie boy, say bye bye to my baby. Ellie. Ellie. Come here. Come here. Oh, Finn's coming to say goodbye. Oh, he's a good hugger, isn't he? He's a good hugger. They're off. There they go. On to a 20 hour drive. Okay, we've been in the car probably for about an hour. I look so bad right now. This is how long we have left. I don't think you can see that. Um, it says 16 hours. From here, yep, thousand miles. Hours. But that's all the way to Provo, and I think we're staying the night, so it's probably less than that. It's probably like what, twelve uh, hours? There's supposed to be snow tomorrow. Yeah. 
tonight, tomorrow, so we're gonna probably cut it into yeah. and do it during daylight. We don't really know where we're staying yet. We're just gonna figure it out as we go and see if, how much we want to drive. So, on that we're down. All right, after six hours, <laughs> we're finally pulling into New Mexico. We're in a new state! Where are we now? We're in Colorado! Just cross through yeah. New Mexico into Colorado. 7.30 at night. 7.30 at night. We're still... We have five hours out. Yeah, about five hours out. No snow yet. But we're gonna get snow. Probably in Utah. So, pray for us. Pray for us. Dad, we made it to Provo mm -hmm. and we are about to pull up and get my dorm key so we can go start moving my stuff. Where's Hickey? There's Hi. Hickey. Hi, buddy. Hi, Hi buddy. Hi. 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 He's so excited. Yes. This is Jack Jack's oh. full brother. The Willow's full brother. Oh, man. Sees his mama and his grandma coming. <laughs> she sees him. Oh, he's. <laughs> oh. Hi, Who's that? Hi, Who's that? <laughs> he's like excited. It's been a while. He's so little. Ellie, I thought he was huge, and now because of Ellie, he looks so little. Right now, because he lost all his clothes. Yeah. Today is day two in Utah. Rylan had a college in orientation this morning, so she went to that. We just met up for breakfast with some of my family, and then we are going to run to Target and Walmart, yes, to pick up the things that we missed yesterday and that we know we need. So I also have some same day Amazon deliveries on the way, so all the good things. And then we're gonna hopefully meet Rylan a little bit later, put it all in her room, and then we have dinner with Camry and Rylan today. Should I grab a box of Depends and carry it in to see what her roommates say? <laughs> no. <laughs> the answer is no. So we finished at Target and Walmart, and now we're at Home Goods, right, man? Yes. Picking up some more damages. What's up, you? About ready to head down to Ryland, see how she fared through the night, the first night. She's already made some friends, we heard from a blogger friend. That, uh, bumped she's her on campus. Bumped her on campus today and said she's doing really well. I'm not surprised. Here is... This is our third haul. The fruits of all of our labors for <laughs> the day. How does fit in a dorm room? I Target, Walmart, and Home Goods. I think that's it. I really think this is gonna be it. We may have even bought a few extra little things, but if there's extras, I'm just giving them to other girls on the hall at this yeah, point. Yeah, give them away. <laughs> Look at the pretty mountains down here that Ryland gets to live by. This is Mount Tipinogus. It's very high. I've Maybe. been to the top of that one. What is it, like top 14? It's like 11. Is it 11? Yeah, 11 something. 11 or 12? Yeah. But then look all the way around. It's like a giant bowl of sitting in the middle of the mountain. With a lake on the other side. It's really pretty. Ryland's first book she grabbed is for anthropology, right? Mm-hmm. Number one. Ooh, is that the right one? Yep. Let's get her a used one. Get her a used one, yep. Buy used whenever possible, people. Okay, last one. She's gonna go say hi to her new best friend here, Cosmo the Cougar. <laughs> Look excited a little hi. bit, why don't you? <laughs> Sean was desperately hoping for his UAU Rice Krispie Treat. Creamery. Didn't happen. We could go to the Creamery. If you've never been to the Creamery at the UAU, they have the best ice cream, chocolate milk, ranch, Rice Krispie Treats. Famous for them. Everyone comes, buys, all oh, the, the things. Mint brownies as well. Oh, the, the mint, mint brownies. brownies. But, and the cougar tails. I guess we're good at treats. I was just enthralled by the view of those mountains right there. So, how was your first night in your dorm? That was good. Yeah? Pretty yeah. cool. Meet some cool people? Yeah. Nice. I'm excited for you. I wish I could go back. Would you associate with me if I went back to no. college? You wouldn't? No. <laughs> my, my feelings are hurt. BYU Creamery. Yeah. What do we have here? It's called funeral potato croquette. Croquette. 
And this sauce on it is apparently like chives all blended and then put into the cheesecloth and squeezed out. Looks good. It kind of looks like green eggs and ham, but I've heard it's super good. It's some charcuterie good. and it's almost gone. And then Riley's loving the hard salami and the cheese tea. and the honey. It was delicious. The what? Sweet cream. Sweet cream. Coconut cream. cream. Coconut cream okay. tea. What is this? It's like maple, maple butternut squash or something, but it's really good. Yeah, like pumpkin seeds. Steak treats. How's the steak? It's good. So this morning we got up and we're running up to Megan's house to spend the morning with her sweet family. We got all this food Megan made us. Yum. Who made what? Did you make My some? I made all of this. Mm. I watched. Yeah. So did you do it. Yeah. <laughs> mm, so exciting. Mm, I'm hungry. And look, here's Lottie. So Hi, Lottie girl. This is Willow, Jack Jack, and uh, Hiccup's mom. Hi. Hello. Hi, Lottie. And Scott is the dad. Scotch. Hi, Scotch. How many times did you say goodbye to her? Hi to her, goodbye to her? literally see you guys like every two weeks. And we're gonna see you in like next weekend, right? Yeah. They will see us next week. Yeah. Oh. Good luck. Yep. Number four. I'll see you in four, four days. Four days. <laughs> <laughs> I know, for some reason, because we're gonna see Can't you in a couple of days, it doesn't I'll seem. Then we'll say goodbye. Seem I'm gonna miss her. We bonded on that trip, didn't oh, we? Yeah. Through that snowstorm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then we'll say the real goodbye. Cause Cause we'll be be remember who you are when you stand for and don't forget to text us. Oh. Hey, we're back home, everybody. Mindy and I got in late last night, and uh, I dropped her off at the airport this morning because she had some meetings at Walmart headquarters. But as I came home, I was looking in our driveway. Ryland's car is not there, and I don't know. You know, this is our fourth daughter that have left that has left for college, and this one's gonna hit me a little harder. I'm gonna miss that girl. She texted us this morning a picture, her first day of school picture. It took 17 minutes to get to her first class. I think she's really excited, and I'm really excited for her. So, if y'all want to wish her a happy first day of school, go ahead and do so in the comments down below, and we'll see you next week.